All right, I'm about to hit everyone with some truth. If you watched House MD when you were growing up and you were obsessed with Dr. Cuddy, you're a lesbian now. And if you were obsessed with Dr. Cameron, you are now bisexual. I'm just here to tell it like it is. I don't know what that show is. I don't know either, baby. <laughs> There you go! Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, no lesbian, so that's where it is! When I look back, I was clearly a homosexual. Obviously, I wasn't watching any sports, but, you know, <laughs> my favorite TV show was, like, Xena Warrior Princess, Charmed, kind of thing. Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, Piper! Any show that had a strong female lead, I was yes. into it. That's the Housewives. That's the Housewives! Housewives. The son, Bree's son. Oh, he was gay. Do you know when you'd see a little gay storyline and you'd be like, oh my yeah. god, I'm no, that's the thing. I never used to watch. Basically, I never used to watch anything without a gay plot. Because when I was young, I just used to feel like I was the only gay in the village, like hardcore. And it wasn't until I was older and I started meeting other gay people, I started to realize actually more people like me exist. That feeling of like light and like fire in your belly when on Coronation Street there was a gay kiss, you know what I mean? Still to this day, I'm obsessed with Disney movies. The Little Mermaid is my all time favorite movie in the world. Did you and do I the thing in the bath? Did always, you, in the bath? Just... I used to put a towel on my head and pretend I had hair and I'm singing, I want more. <laughs> You want to be in her when you get older, darling. <laughs> I know I've always liked guys. I used to work at the football and these big men are just like in their shorts, just like stretching. I was like... <laughs> I mean, my first crush was... Hercules. And I don't know what... I don't know when it changed from, oh my God, I just enjoy like the music in his film to, oh my God, he's really hot. Why do I fancy a cartoon? That's really strange. Do I like real men? Oh, I do like real men. Is Hercules a real guy? No, he's a fantasy. So I don't know. I was also like really attracted to like Eris. Have you seen the, the, the goddess of chaos from Sinbad and the legend of the seven seas? No? She's all like smoky and she comes and she's like, ooh, okay. ooh. Any kind of black haired woman, even to this day. And the thing is, Freud, my mum had black hair. <laughs> I just realized, Hercules wasn't the first guy I fancied. It was the first sister guy boyfriend. that I fancied was <laughs> my mum's boyfriend. <laughs> I think about some of the choices that I've made in terms of guys and I, it's definitely, I definitely think it's something to do with that. Oh, oh that's, that's the 90s, baby. I have loads of pictures with like a towel in my head on my head like i have loads of pictures so like when i was like 16 17 and people were still like so where's your girlfriend i'd be like really are we really having this conversation yeah. <laughs> look how cute that is sorry about it look at that oh. what the flipping heck happened to me where did the cuteness go <laughs> there's a picture of my cousin me and my little brother and my mum put lipstick on us and wigs here are all the reasons I should have known I was gay a lot earlier. I wore a suit to homecoming and I said it was because I was into fashion. My photography in high school was very gay. <laughs> Another gay photo I took in high school. I made my best friend dress up as Britanna with me. Another friend even drew Britanna in my yearbook. My high school wall covered in glee. When my high school photography teacher asked me to take a picture of a guy, because I just never took photos of guys, I dressed the high school quarterback up in drag, and that was my ex-boyfriend, I wrapped him in cellophane. I had a million photos of girls on my walls in high school, and there's a photo of two girls kissing. Okay, well, she wasn't hiding every anything. She was all out gay. Like, everything that I did was sort of like, sort of behind closed doors. So like, there was this one guy who I thought was into me, and we happened to end up being in the same um, drama class and then the same sort of final play. Obviously, I came up with the storyline that I was a stepdad who was abusive but also had like gay tendencies. And so I said to him that, like, obviously, I really want you to get to an A because I was an A star student in drama chair. <laughs> so I was like, do you want to go to the drama room and we can try this out, honey? Anytime in drama we would have any sort of play, I was always a female or the mum. <laughs> 
or giving birth or something. 